Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is History Comics, The Wild Mustang Horses of the American West, the latest release from first, second in their History Comics line of graphic novels. So far, we've done a review of, I think, three of them, and have been really interesting, every single one. I definitely have walked away feeling uh, a bit better on the subjects uh, and understanding them a bit more. And this one is no uh, no exception. I mean... I knew the the horse, the, the wild Mustang, was an integral part of the uh, history of the United States and kind of the uh, West in general, and I, I don't think I realized how much of uh, an integral part and exactly how things kind of happened. Um, so this is a really, really good graphic novel that takes you through that history and examines uh, the growth of horses, wild mustangs, in the United States um, from like the early days of their evolution to fairly modern times. And I think it's a really, uh, for, you know, I'm assuming it's all right. I think it's a fairly solid look at all that and really solid examination. Um, you know, it, it goes through the actual kind of history of, of horses and how they actually started in North America and then emigrated to um, the rest of the world and then died off in North America and then were brought back by um, the, the colonists and, and um, Spanish to help uh, conquer the, the indigenous people that were here. And then from there, it, uh, you know, they spread heavily due to the Comanche tribe who used it uh, to kind of just gain dominance and, and um, really kind of solidify their strength and build their nation. And then from there, um, you know, it, it, it kind of spread. Like, it was, it's a really interesting history. That was kind of the condensed version of it. But it, it does a really good job of, like, you know, going through all of that, kind of giving some details here and there, uh, but never boring. It's actually, like, a really entertaining... Um, educational, you know, uh, the graphic novel. I mean, it's just a solid teaching of, of this history and, you know, the kind of like the small little things like the tie into the Dust Bowl, for instance. I had no idea that, you know, horses were part of that um, happening, which I thought, you know, it, it's small little things like that that I thought were really interesting. So it's written by Chris Duffy, art by Phelan Koch. Um, the story itself is, is interesting that it is presented, I don't even know how to describe it, by like these two sort of people, things, and a horse. People, things, people, things, and then the horse. Um, going through that history, and it takes us through a lot of that from their coming over and being brought over initially, I think, by this one's by Columbus, is the story that they got going here. And then um, some of the other history out there. I think that's a panel of uh, some of the original horses. Yep, yeah, there's the original horses that were uh, the, in the Americas um, and kind of evolved. And this is their their migration across the world, which I thought it was all really fascinating. And how things are kind of brought back here. You know, it. it it's a solid read. Like, this is definitely a subject where I kind of, as I said, I knew a little, but not a ton. Um, and this kind of filled in a lot of those gaps, and I think I'm, I feel smarter due to it. Uh, there's also a nice history, some further reading, which I think is pretty cool, and then a little bit in the back about Famous Horses, which I thought was really neat as well. Famous Horses. Uh, so this is one, like, if you, if it's a subject that you're interested in and maybe don't know a lot and kind of want to learn quickly, easily, and, you know, want a starting point, I think this is a really solid graphic novel. Uh, if you have a kid that's really into the, into horses and wants to learn more about their history, you know, this as well is a great way to start. You know, it's, it's truthful, so, you know, it's not... You know, it's not all happy-go-lucky. I mean, it talks about recent things of like in the 1900s with the kind of the um, rounding up of horses and killing them and, and some of the conservation going on by the BLM and and um, the controversies around that. So it's it gets a little weighty at times, but I think it, it's well 
well worth it and uh, definitely is an educational experience. So out in comic shops, out in bookstores now, you can go get it. We got a link beneath this video, put in your zip code, tell of a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some affiliate links. There are affiliate links, so we get a small percentage of that. By doing that, you help support our site, so thank you. Speaking of support, I want to thank First Second for hooking us up with a review copy. Appreciate that. And thank you for watching. Now, if you're into comics, graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, all at Graphic Policy. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.